Nejáš se pěvý vůmc na vůzdost, na dost hodnost, na vůzdost, na pěvý ámas, pěvý vůhnoši. I have given you a blessing in my language, my grandmother's tongue, and um, I came by the way of being one of the 13 grandmothers in the world, global grandmother, we're all indigenous. Uh, we, in fact, the Canadians, they have a, they have a le legend that 13 grandmothers came to the world in a time to save the world. And many of the uh, indigenous people around the world have the same story that when the grandmothers speak means healing the world will begin to heal um, in 1970s Dalai Lama had said the world needed grandmothers. So in the new millennium, I received a letter from the Center of Sacred Studies. I answered the call and I was to go to Phoenicia, New York, the land of the Confederacy of the Iroquois. So, when I showed up there, there was a round table, and my name was there in the round table, and I looked at the other women there, and there were 13 of us. And we began telling the story of who we were and how we came this way. As, as I was introduced that um, I came from as the generation of the Sand Creek Massacre. How I found out about this uh, massacre, really to absorb it, was two years ago. My older sister was 82 years old. She was passing away and she, on her deathbed, had called me and told me, Margaret, you need to know this. That Grandma Lily is to know you. I said, why are you telling me this? Now, she says, you need to know, remember when Uncle Frank used to tell you, tell us, tell Margaret, she's the one that's going to carry the old into the new. So she had said that Grandma Lily was not born blind. And I said, what does this have to do with now? And she said, Grandma Lily was the baby that was wounded in the Sun Creek Massacre. And I am still shocked in telling you this, that I met this old lady. I saw her walk, work as a medicine woman. In my very early childhood, I had many medicine people that I trained under or, or saw. Many miracles, as you call, that happened. And I believe that's why I'm standing here in front of you as one of the 13 grandmothers. The uh, lesson that I learned from history was
She healed babies. She healed children. I would see her touch under the tongue of children and their palate and their mouth. I watched her. She would bring back these children, babies. And now that I put the story together to tell you this, is that this old lady who was wounded as a baby in the sand creek turned it around and was a healer of babies.